<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> practice, practice. <laughs> That's right. This is our third member spotlight chat or interview. So we know like all the ins and outs at this point about one another. <laughs> but let's no. no, there's so much more to know and so much more to share. And now we can go a little bit deeper. So the last just to get everyone caught up, this is Jen Brown. And um, yay, I love you so much. I'm so <laughs> thrilled that we get to share this. This is like probably my favorite thing about technology is bringing friends together again, you know? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is our third interview. The first one, I forgot to hit record. Oh my goodness. And the second one just was a really poor quality connection. So here we are on our third attempt, and this one's going to be the most amazing. Jen, please jump in. Tell us who you are and what you're up to, your story right now, what attracted you to this community. Go. <laughs> well, um, I met Ben about 12 years ago in Saipan, and I was on the beginnings of a journey, I guess, when I got there, just going out on a, on a whim to teach high school biology, and I had no experience doing that, and had an awesome time, met a wonderful community, and I think that's where I got my hook for community being something that I, I really want to be as a huge focal point in my life. Just, it was so easy in Saipan and we were all transplants. Everybody was just, you know, very open and, and loving right off the get go. And then, you know, you move to the real world and it's a little, it's a little different, you know, everybody's got their friends, no new friends. So, um, but Saipan was great experience and that led me to then move over to Guam and I met my husband there and we've been traveling um, with the military for about six years after that. And then he has since retired and we've moved back up to his hometown uh, of Northern Michigan for the summer months, cause I'm still an island girl. And so we go down to Florida in the, in the winter or travel or wherever. So we have uh, that whole, you know, no kids, no pets, freedom to, to travel, which is really fun. And we've allowed the extra time that we have to be filled with community. I teach yoga. I work for our local state doc at the marina and uh, meet a ton of people doing that and get to be on the water every day around boats and also kind of around successful people too, which was kind of the, the hidden gem of that job because I get to meet a lot of very interesting people that have kind of worked to get these you know big boats and be it that life on the water so that's kind of been that surround yourself with success thing that I didn't know I was getting out of that which was really cool and I also still do some environmental work with an envi a local environmental consulting firm here so I'm busy um, and yeah this community the Stoke community I've just watched you build I don't know if you when you started sprinkling the stoke into your social media or whatever, but I've always like just been drawn to that and totally resonated with me. I knew what it was. I know we you want to define it and put it in writing, but you know, just what lights you up. And so I have always been drawn to to what lights people up, like what makes people who they are and being able to better define that and even build upon that has been super cool to be a part of. So mm. I'm, I'm here for the, for the ride. <laughs> oh, I love that. You described that really beautifully. Yeah. Hey. So, um, you know, I would love to dig deeper into that because as we're building this community, a large part of the challenge is defining who we are and what we're doing, you know? And I mm -hmm. think I've done a pretty good job of that, but I'd love to hear from you, like, you know, um, what does the Stoke mean to you? Uh, who do you think this is attracting? You know, um, what kind of characteristics do you think we all share so far in here? You know, what is Well, what I've noticed is just people who kind of already have their shit together and they're like, oh, this is an extra step for me to network, you know? So I see that as a, a potential um uh, way to define the stove is just people coming together that are already on fire, but also a motivator for people who are stuck. And we talked about that too, this, this weekend and, and identifying how we get stuck 
you know, and, and I think that this, this community can attract both types of people. So it's really on opposite ends of the spectrum, which is, which is pretty cool. So for me, it's, it's being able to recognize people who are stoked or stoked and stuck and be able to give them, you're giving them this platform to connect without any judgment or shame or anything like that. It's just come as you are and let's build from here. So that's been pretty awesome. Oh, that's so rad. Cause you're totally nailing it. I was in a place like seven or eight years ago where I actually started defining the journey as stuck to stoked. And yeah. and now I really recognize like what I am trying to offer is just an opportunity and a space for people to up level. Wherever you're at right now, let's just go to the next place because I think that's what we love the most is that sense of just growing, you know, and becoming more of who we are, right? Yeah. yeah. And so I have been working with developing, I was stuck when I moved up here three years ago and to be in a community, a small community in Northern Michigan where I didn't know anyone. I kind of relied on my husband and his high school friends and the family that's up there to be my instant community. And it didn't happen. And it was a really lonely, depressing summer. And it was the summer before COVID. And I remember being, and then after that summer, I was like, well, that kind of sucked. And then we traveled for six months. And during that six months traveling, we were, we, we made it back out to Saipan. We went out to Guam. We revisited all these people who were so monumental in our lives and my life and introduced my husband because he didn't know these people. And I was like, babe, this is what, like, how can we get this in Taos? Like, that's our city up here. How can we bring, you know, this type of open connection and the following summer even and then we get smacked in the face with COVID and nobody wanted to to connect so I still needed my fitness I wanted to get outside so Sean and I started this Facebook run club where we would run a 5k take a selfie post it on Facebook and then just say hey come on out we'll keep our distance you know and we within a month we had three or four people coming out and that was great people I had no idea you know who they were would just you know, with the, the gods of Facebook brought us together. And now we've got 20 to 30 people that come together every week. And we've expanded from doing our, doing our 5Ks every week to doing boot camp and yoga and it's all free. And so this year we've actually doubled because of, you know, marketing and everything else. And I'm like, okay, how can I make this something that maybe is profitable, but still I'm taking that to the, to the way of, how can we make this something that me and my husband can do together? Cause this is awesome. going to be our legacy. We don't have the kids and like, you know, whatever to leave behind, but like, let's build this together. So this platform and actually shared day six with him today. And he, he wants to watch all of them now. Cause he was like, I don't, I can't just jump into day six. And so, uh, <laughs> so he's, he's interested and he's like, you know, it's contagious. And I couldn't get him on board on day one. But by day six, he's like, all right, what's going on? You know, so that's pretty cool. And being able to funnel it into this kind of this little startup that we've got. Yeah. So I don't remember your question, but that's where. <laughs> oh, no, I love it. That was such a freaking brilliant chair. Yeah. So that brings me to like, what's your big purpose? Can you can you share that with us? I'm getting to think that it's this wellness warrior thing. Yeah. Um because it's got so much potential and it's such a need here in this community. But there's also a part of me that gets so frustrated with the people in this community and the mindset here that I just want to say, all right, we're doing what we're doing. This is good. Mm -hmm. And that, but then that leaves me kind of, you know, swimming around figuring out what's next. And I know, you know, that I don't want to take on another environmental consulting job because I've been doing that for 10 years and it's not fulfilling me like I was you know thinking that it would so I think it's gonna get bored into this Taoist wellness warrior and then maybe see where I can develop it when I go to Florida because we don't that's a big thing that we're noticing is like we go to Florida and we fall off our game like we don't have these three times a week that we're exercising with community with conviction on at a certain time like we're still doing our morning workouts but you know, it's just chugging along. So this I is, might start posting random selfies in, in Gulfport, Florida. So watch out. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so it sounds to me like your, your big purpose is around building community around health. 
And yeah. it also sounds to me like you've done this thing that you're really good at for about 10 years, but now you're at a point where you're like, you know what? That's not a part of my big purpose. It's time for a little bit of transformation, right? Mm -hmm. Am I right so far? Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. And yeah. I'm also okay. noticing that like the more I engage with people, like I've hosted multiple yoga retreats and I call them the sweet spot yoga retreats because it's like a Thursday to Monday. It's a long weekend and you don't really get too deep. Like we don't really get into like the nitty gritty, but now I'm thinking, well, what the heck is the point if we're not getting if we're not spending this time really helping that person grow or whatever. But I'm realizing after my last retreat that I need to put in the work on my development before I can hold space for that. So I think through Wellness Warriors and yoga, I want to be able to be more of a mentor, but I know that's my growth that I need to do. So it's it's all coming in to play. So it's very I, interesting. <laughs> I love that. When we start to offer the things that we love more, it challenges us to grow in the areas that we love more. Mm -hmm. And how freaking cool is that, man? So okay. good. We're never done. You right. know, it's that's that's the point where people are like, oh, I'm retired now. Yeah. I'm just gonna kick back and and I deal with that a lot too in our community. We have mostly retired people, you know, so we're getting older people coming out that are lighting up with this fire of fitness again. They're like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I just walked a 5K, like three miles in now what can I do? You know, so just through fitness and through getting back in touch with your body, whether it's fitness, like yoga or walking or whatever, I think that is, it inspires people to grow, even if it's in their physical capacity, you know, so just challenging people. I think that's, that's where I'm going with it. <laughs> I love that. Well, and we all know without health, everything else is like, doesn't matter. Yeah. You get off all the money in the world, the most beautiful partner in the world. And if you can't show up there to freaking make the most of it, you know, it's, what a shame. So health is like, you know, huge priority. Um, so thanks for doing that. And then, um, so is, are you really clear on your epic one year journey then? You know, like, do you know that transformation you want to have? I'm getting there. We had a good conversation today, me and Sean about like, what does that look like in one year? And I think just this one year, I want to try to get the wellness warriors to have a space up here in Michigan where it, you know, we, everything we do is outside, yeah. but when it's cold for six months out of the year, we kind of die off. We have, we have our like gung ho crazy runners, like that'll still go out and do the 5k, but it, that's like a third of our group. So I'm actually have a meeting with, um, our community center tomorrow to see if we can get them to donate some space. So my one year goal is to work towards that maintaining the momentum through the year and finding us a space. So I love that you're talking one year. Look how powerful this is. You already are talking with the community. You're talking with your husband and it's, it's like, it's been only like a week, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It is like always in the back of my mind, but mm -hmm. like giving myself this time to process it, to plan it, oh, you know, God. and it's just been, I don't know it's been so fun. And it's, that's where like this little voice of like, you know, when we did the, um, a Kigi or how do you say it? Key guy. The key, the key guy. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, there's definitely a need. This is what I'm good at. How do I get paid for it? Yeah. And I hate that it comes down to money because I would do this shit for free, right. you know, but I want to feel that I am a value and, exactly. and I can quit my other jobs. <laughs> totally. That's the trick. You know, is, and is, give it my full and my full attention. <laughs> 100%. And I would actually invite you to embrace the money part because mm -hmm. that's where the value gets realized. Mm -hmm. That's where when people are like, oh, yep, I need this. I see this. I got this. I want this. How much is that? Okay, no problem. You right. know? because it's getting it, to that point where we've been offering this for free for three years so yeah. now i gotta i don't want to have to beg for a space i want to be able to provide a space through you know these men these memberships or however it ends up working out so yeah. and when you're getting paid you can afford resources that you wouldn't mm -hmm. otherwise you know and and all the other things that come with that and we devote more time to it you know you'll invest mm -hmm. more of your time and effort because you know that it's being rewarded as well and and serving people on that on that level. It's freaking mm -hmm. awesome. So yeah. embrace that 100%. Working. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do it, but not come across like 
And that's something that I'm working with, just value in general, you know, knowledge is value, what you're mastering. If you've mastered something, if it's part of your ritual and your daily, you're a master of it and you should be able to, you know, exchange that energy or whatever money or however you're exchanging, you know, you should be able to feel your value be received, you know? I love that. Well, I think into that. I really am excited about having a, I think we ought to do a mastermind around that, you know, because yeah. sometimes it's hard to charge for things that we love. It's mm-hmm. like, I would do this anyways, you know, mm-hmm. but as right. an artist, you know, I'm like, that, that that's a $70 mug. Yeah, know? I know. And you're, and, I mean, you know how many Ben Wood mugs I had and now I'm like, oh <laughs> shit, I wish I still had my Ben Wood. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> but like a kombucha thing one of these days <laughs> what's that? There's a one of these days i one of these days i want to get one of your i'm gonna i'm saving up for one of your kombucha things that you oh, do i don't know what you call it the fermentation crocs yes yeah. do you still make those i didn't make any this year because i was just so freaking busy but i did have a lot of requests and i'm building up the email list for you know like i'll just make okay. 20 at one time because it takes up the whole studio for, oh, I'm sure. My studio is pretty small. Jeez. It's only 200 mm-hmm. square feet, but I kind of like it that way. Yeah. It keeps it precious. It keeps it clean. It keeps oh, every yeah, part really sure. utilized. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But um, I think it'd be fun to have a, a mastermind around value. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And like how to, what's too much, what's not enough. Like, I don't, I think that just entrepreneurship and stepping into that realm, like, I don't know. So I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of good information out there and there's a lot of people that have made, I mean, I'm not re I'm not reinventing the wheel here. Like there's community oh. groups like this. So to find someone well, who's done it. And Jen Brown, this community is full of phenomenal entrepreneurs. Actually, I'm thinking of three, right? right I'm noticing. My head, four, um, just, you know, so there's a lot of actually five. <laughs> you know, one of the one of the questions I asked recently was, "Are we Stokers or Stokepreneurs?" And it looks like Stokepreneurs yeah. is winning right now. I think. Yeah. Stokepreneurs- well, I think yeah, for the majority of people, I know I like the Stokes sister, but I was like, yeah. "Then what are the guys going to be?" <laughs> yeah, totally. Stoke bros. <laughs> Stoke bros. I like it a lot, but yeah, full on. No, Stokepreneur is awesome because I think mm-hmm. at a certain point when you are so excited about something that you want to share it and make money off of it, you can't work for anybody else, Yeah, you know, unless it has to be your, you know, your full passion, you know, yeah. giving up my time. Like today I spent a third, half of the day in the office and then a third of the day to sneak away and do my own stuff, you know, and it's nice. like, you can't give that full energy to where you want to give. I mean, I'm a, I'm a terrible employee right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would fire myself in a minute, but yeah, I get they it. love me. So they're not going to fire me, but <laughs> I'm awesome. like at my desk, listening to Ben while I'm also doing this other thing today. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's so great. <laughs> so fun. I love that. So yeah. Um, I had this really interesting question come up that I wanted to ask. And mm-hmm. if you don't like it, you don't have to answer it. But I think okay. it's, I think it's kind of an interesting one. And do you have a fear that motivates you? Um, the lack of a legacy, I think, uh-huh. is a fear. Yeah. So being, and then that's the same as looking back in your life and being like, oh, I didn't do anything. And yeah. I think it's easy for people to be like, well, I had kids. That was my legacy, you right. know. And then you don't have to put any more. I mean, not that there's not effort into having children and raising fantastic children, but it's kind of like um an easy out if you will like so it's a little harder if you're and if you're creating a business or just creating a person that you yeah. know you want to be remembered as this stoked person right yeah. Yeah. so the wellness warrior thing could be one of 50 things that I do so it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna that will be the legacy but I think lack of leaving your mark or you know someone being like oh, that person was an asshole, you know, and that's all that they ever remember of you, you know? So I think that's my biggest fear is that I'll be gone, dead and gone, and that there'd be nothing good to say, you know? Yeah. So leaving a fear. Yeah. Leaving a legacy, like just basically leave it better than you found it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, that was kind it, of a part of mine. I wanted to make the world a better place and have fun doing it. I like it. Yeah, but I, it's a real thing to get to the end of our lives and be like, oh, dang, what if I'd really tried, you know, mm-hmm. or explored yeah. more? Yeah. And, I, and then releasing some of that stuff too, like releasing that, you know, at one point in my life, I really wanted to be an esteemed, you know, marine biologist in high school or whatever. And just finding out that I don't need to do that because I feel fulfillment doing these other things, you know? So that's a fear, I think, um, that drives you, the fear yeah. that drives you, right? Isn't that powerful? I was just recently basically offered a college position and I wanted that so long I don't think I'm going to take it I don't have time for it anymore I've got right. way too many cool things happening and that's kind of a and it will be there it will be there yeah. once you've established this and once this is kind of you know up and rolling and you can you don't need to put in as much work I mean like you yeah. said like what is the big picture of this program is it you giving a hundred percent or is it you being able to to step in oversee make some changes and know that this this program is kind of running itself and people are growing and connecting and everything else. And you're like, yeah, you know, I'm 65. Maybe I will be a professor and teach some pottery now. You know, you can always be a professor. Yeah, yeah. That know. very well could That's be. Just my thought. Yeah, you're right. You're <laughs> Not right. right now, we, at least. We totally don't know where we're going to be, but I've got mm-hmm. some really cool ideas for this community that... um that I think would keep me busy probably for the rest of my life. So awesome. Yeah. You know, like even economy, what if someone does mm-hmm. like a full year in their, in their epic journey and they get to the end of it. And then maybe there's like a grants available to bring their dream forward, you know, like, oh, for sure. you know, stuff like that, where I think that'd be, or lending like a lending tree in here, you know, like different ways to support one another and bringing <laughs> our, our dreams to fruition yeah i, just, I mean that's I, awesome i know like there's so many places that we can bring this but it's all centered around becoming more of who we are and, and you'll come into more and more ideas as it grows too yeah because more support because you're gonna bring them and the rest right. of the is gonna bring them and what is exactly. the vision, what's the vision for the change we want to see mm-hmm. let's do that i and like it Jen Brown. Yeah, that's yeah, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> I think just... that's what's magical about it. You know, yeah. it's just there's yeah. no end. Yeah. Once you get like-minded people together, community, and everybody's under this like rainbow of positivity, you know, yeah. to support each other. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I was gonna tell you when someone wants to come into your video, you just have to go because remember today you had someone and you couldn't get in you just go to the chat and then on the right side it'll say someone's in the waiting room and then you let them in so, I, uh, I know I knew <laughs> it's I hard to a... stop your your role when you're on it though <laughs> well there's three things happening while I'm doing it there's the zoom oh, yeah. there's the community platform thing and then there's also the mm-hmm. um presentation it's a canva presentation yeah. and that one's okay I think there's better ones we'll see but mm-hmm. it's been super but yeah I, I i i sensed that this today and i was like it wasn't me trying to get on but i was like yeah. if it was i would have been like ben what the hell i want to come on yeah totally <laughs> totally i know there was a couple things i was like oh no <laughs> but it's okay because it's not that the presentation that i see is is not the same because i was watching it today through the, the platform yeah. and not on zoom yeah. that I can't see the other people or anything. So right. your presentation just comes with like your your cute little circle on the bottom and then yeah. your slides. Fantastic. So just some feedback for you. <laughs> oh, good. That's great. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> totally. Well, yeah, it was really good. Well, oh, and I was going to tell you that I got my husband on board because of your deer analogy today. And he oh, is a bow hunter and the deer is like, he's never gotten one either, but he's like, oh, awesome. Out, or yet, I should say. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's a really sweet analogy. And then I shared your motorcycle uh, day with my dad because he's a motorcycle rider. So oh, that's so right. Trying to pull everybody in. <laughs> well, I tell you, I 100% I have believe in and have a vision for this community growing 100% just from the community itself. No, I don't want to do, fa- I don't want to integrate Facebook or like, you know, um, uh, like social media posts or or paying for ads or anything like that i want it to be 100 percent. just we're inviting people we love because this is an awesome place and thing to share 
you know so that's kind of the vision and and the, and i'm hoping that we can grow that together because i mean we need that and we i think social media doesn't serve us the way that we were hoping that it would yeah it's kind of like a nice intro to get to know but then i couldn't get deep i couldn't connect yeah. on those platforms you yeah. know and i use them solely for marketing purposes and that's, for the most part anyways but i know yeah, that's really what it's become good. yeah i think so mm -hmm. too no, I love this. I mean, I've had more meaningful conversations with the people that I love and haven't seen for so long. Like this is, this is pretty profound. This is the community. Is. This is the community that I've been trying to find here in Medford, and haven't really been able to cultivate. And now I've I feel so blessed that I found this thing and that. I've been able to just put these pieces together that it has enough value that it's bringing the uh, these awesome birds of a feather together. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it's really You've cool. You've definitely put in the work and it shows. And so yeah. it, it's got nowhere to do. It's just going to grow. Yeah. So well, I'm this, super excited. This has been my passion for a long time. As I, I remember being a kid and being bummed when I saw adults that weren't stoked. I was like, yeah. hey, how can that be? They, mm -hmm. they are adults. They, there's no one telling them what to do. Like, why? Right. Aren't I remember cool? never wanting to grow up because of that. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't want to grow up. Everybody's got to work and they hate yeah. it. And, you know, that is kind of beat into your brain. Like, oh, I always remember my mom being like, well, if it was if it was fun, they wouldn't call it work. You right. know, and it's like, oh, oh, OK, I guess I'll do my job because my mom said this was never going to be fun. You know, and I did that for shoot, going on 12 years, you know, and I get very, I know myself and I get very invested in whatever I'm doing. Yeah, I can't just go in and not care and go home at the end of the day. And yeah. there's plenty of people that can do that, you know, but I'm just not one of those people. So if I'm doing something, it's with like all of my energy. And once I feel it's not being returned, yeah. I start to like yeah. sidestep. Congratulations on recognizing that voice. You know, we've all, we've heard of that before the record in our head, like those false beliefs and stuff that kind of put us in that box of it's, they wouldn't call it work if it was, you know, like yeah. way to recognize, like that's really powerful stuff. And we have that around everything around money, you know, relationships, mm -hmm. work, and the more that we can find those things and, and excavate them and clean them off and so that we can read them and like release them, the more free mm -hmm. we should be. That's why, yeah. I, that's why having this ability to be vulnerable with one another and reflect and stuff, I think is going to be really powerful. Yeah, I'm excited to connect. I've kind of like explored people's bios and stuff. And there's one lady who's <laughs> liking my stuff and I'm liking yeah. her stuff. And I'm like, we should talk, you know, yeah, so totally. I know it's going to happen for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm super excited for the relationships that are going to be built in here because everyone that I know in here is freaking amazing. You know, like I love each and every person that's in here right now. And and I know right. them all. Yeah. Which is just Have awesome. you been able to do these interviews with other people this week? Uh no, you're the I'm first one. I've got another one later okay. today. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm glad great. we nailed it on the third try. <laughs> I know, I know. Do you have any messages for anyone before we sign off or you know, um, the community? I large? need you to um side note, I need you to text me your address. It's because I have something I want to send you. Okay. Um, but I think, no, just last words are thank you and thank you and thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. This has just been such a good way to get me out of a rut. I didn't know I was in a rut, but then I think when we started talking about the Miracle Morning, I'm reading that book. I'm on that platform now. I haven't done the saver steps yet because I'm just getting up early and just yeah. getting up early is awesome yeah so I think just that extra hour to myself in the morning to kind of focus my day has been transformational in the last 10 days so I gotta tell you that was the most powerful part of my transformation was getting yeah. up one hour earlier then you had the without one hour to master your day you win mm -hmm. the morning and the rest of the day is kind of you've determined what's going to happen and you've set the tone right. and all that and that was your introduction speech for seven days of soak was oh, awesome you can master the morning yeah and then yeah. you're like you drop that morning um the book and i was like oh gotta look at that so the ball was rolling right away so yeah. that was awesome oh i surprised myself i'm so <laughs> glad i fit that in the right place <laughs> right right in the beginning because people yeah. are gonna want to know oh this is the book that got you rolling i gotta read this book you know yeah. so i think that that's huge and you're gonna have people who 
are coming from, I've met, I just have been telling people about this. And the common thing I get back is like, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. Like I'm already, I'm already in my stoke. I'm already doing everything I can do. And I'm just like, but what if you could do a little more, like just try it, you know? So I don't know. I think that what, what would be helpful is if you could maybe do a segment or something on how best to share it, whether it's because I've shared it on the app and I've shared whatever, but I haven't gotten anybody to really receive it. So if there's a good way to, you know, put it out there. I'm working on that one. I'm working on that one too. You know, I think Mm -hmm. the in as little as five minutes a day, you know, thing is pretty good because the main thing is just doing the smallest, smallest steps, but, and I like the words easy and naturally because the shifts that we're going to make here, we're going to be, we, not that productivity is everything, but we're going to learn how to be so much more productive with our time that we are focusing mm-hmm. on doing the do so that we've got more time for the play. And, and right, that's right. a super valuable time because we're our most genius selves when we're at play, you know? Yep. And we just, yeah, that might be why I, <laughs> I play more than I should sometimes, but then I'm like, <laughs> nope, this is just what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> 100%. Totally. Exactly. Jen. That's the double truth right there. <laughs> right yeah exactly you gotta enjoy your life you know I mean people who aren't enjoying their life that you know I feel like a lot of our our demographic of you know 40s 30s kind of in that rut of like what now I still have a whole half of my life and this is it you know I think that is where a lot of people are at yeah and being afraid of making change because they just got to this place where they have an okay enough job and an okay enough relationship and you know, oh God, making a change now, like, holy, why would I do that? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, those people need need us to connect with them, I think. <laughs> it's oftentimes the most subtle shifts too. You right. know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be That's a huge something. part of the message. Yep. Can yep. we not eat elephants though? I can't get over that. I know, that I know. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then you posted the lions and the elephants. I know. And like, eh. <laughs> You're like, oh, like, oh we're talking about eating frogs and elephants. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. It got a little it gritty. Stick in your, it does stick in your brain though. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it got a little gritty there. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Oh man, I love it. Oh, so good. Yeah. But no, thank you so much. This has been so good. And yeah. I think this is an even better interview than our first one. <laughs> I know. I think so too. I'm really, really happy about that. Practice does make perfect. Here we are. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you get to catch me in my home environment. Yeah. Let's see it. <laughs> awesome. I love it. And I think we saw your husband sneak by a um, little oh, yeah. earlier. I tried um, to kick him out. I was like, stop working on stuff. I oh, leave. cool. Well, so I'm he super He's out in his garage, his happy place. So. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, <laughs> I really pray that we get to learn more about him and share the journey with him as well. And um, for sure. Yeah, rad. Let's put together a mastermind for the Taoist Wellness Warriors. Yeah. I got All my... Right. I got my one month, but I don't really know after this month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll call that. Hey, we don't need to know it yet, but we'll call right. that one in for sure. And cool. and um, I think it'd be fun to do one of our first masterminds around that. That'd be awesome. Love it. Okay, I cool. appreciate it. Yeah, one hundred percent. Oh, Jen Brown, this was definitely <laughs> an awesome interview, the best of ours yet, I think. And um, Heck yeah, yeah, I love you. Thanks for being here and um just freaking thanks for sharing the stoke (laughs) love you too have a good rest of your day you too jen brown all right take care we'll see you later see you tomorrow day seven (laughs) oh it's so good